Hi everybody, Elizabeth here with Bridget's Well. I'm doing a oracle card reading for the week of February 13th through 19th of 2017. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull three cards for the week. And the first one will be Monday, Tuesday. The second will be Wednesday, Thursday. And then the third will be like Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So, um, and then if I feel guided, I might pull one just an overview for the week. We'll see. But I am going to use the um, Goddess Guidance Oracle Cards from Doreen Virtue. And this is the first deck of Oracle Cards I ever got. So I figured for my very first Oracle Card reading video, I would use the first deck of cards I had. Okay, so I'm going to shuffle them, pull three cards for the week, and we will see what they say. And I just, I'm very... Um, with the flow when I pull cards. I don't have a specific method. Alright, so I need to shuffle them a couple more times they heard. Because I was actually using these earlier this week myself. So I probably need to get rid of some of my energy in them. And then put the energy of what would help the most people that are watching this for the week. All right, we're good. All right. So I'm going to pull three. And the way I do it is I just look and whichever ones pop out at me, I'll pull. And then that one wants to come. That will be the last one. So we will have a week overview card as well. So the first card I pulled, Lakshmi, Bright Future. Um, so to, for me, this says that there's been a lot of worry, and, and there is a lot of worry in the world right now. Um, really, there are no sides um, in what's going on, I don't think, in what we're doing. I think people tend to see it in a very different types of polarities, but really there are no sides. So Monday, Tuesday... What we need to focus on is moving forward and looking at the future in a positive way. You know, it doesn't mean that things, it doesn't mean that we ignore what's going on by any means at all. It just means that we have to stay positive. So for me, this means stay positive. Um, it could also mean, you know, Lakshmi is the goddess, the Hindu goddess of prosperity. So for some of you out there, it could mean more money coming. It could mean prosperity in other ways, whether that's prosperous relationships, prosperity spiritually, um, in any other aspect of your life where you could, you, you know, prosperity is coming. So for me, Monday, Tuesday, so Monday, Tuesday, bright future, prosperity, abundance, things are looking good, staying positive. So Wednesday, Thursday. We have Green Terra, start delegating. So what this means is you've been doing too much and you have people who can help you. So instead of trying to think you can do everything, don't be afraid to ask for help. Don't be afraid. And to me, this comes through as maybe a workplace situation. Where, you know, if you're in a workplace and you've got too much on your plate, don't be afraid to ask other people to assist you with your project. Um, this could be at home as well. If you've been carrying the burden of cleaning the house, if you've been carrying the burden of doing all the cooking or all the cleaning or most of it, it's time to ask for help. Now, to me also, this means if you don't have anyone you think you can't ask, for instance... Um, you know, single people, if you are living alone, <clears throat> there's probably no one else you could ask. But to me, what you can do is give yourself a little bit of a break. The kitchen table doesn't have to be spotless every single day. So if you're feeling tired at night, go ahead and take a break. So for Wednesday, Thursday, don't be afraid to ask for help. Give yourself a bit of a break. And for some reason, what else is coming through for me on this card is 
don't be afraid to take a social media break. Don't be afraid to take a news break. There's nothing that says that you have to be connected 24-7. Um, especially with everything that's going on in the world right now. It's good to take a break and not constantly be connected to what's going on. Especially for those of us who are sensitive or empathic. It's good to take a break, step away from the computer, step away from the smartphone and the tablet. You will survive. So Friday and the weekend, we've got Suli, the bodies of water. So water, of course, we are 75% water. Um, water is cleansing. Water is life-giving. You know, we can go longer without eating than we can without water. So, some of you may need to be increasing your water intake. Some of you may need to go out if there's a body of water near you, a lake, a creek, the ocean, which is wonderful, of course, lucky ducks. Some of us are landlocked and cannot get to the ocean that quickly. Find a body of water. If it's not too cold, stick your feet in. Some places in the country or the, the world right now are cold. Others are not. Um, the other thing that is for this card, take a salt bath. You know, take a shower and get some salt scrub. Um, you can also, there's a, there's a hoodoo, I believe it's a hoodoo, um, Cleansing method with parsley, mint, and coconut oil or water. Cleanse yourself. Don't be afraid to get wet. Get rid of all that negativity, that's that ick, and just ugh. I mean, we pick it up. We keep it in our we keep it in our fields. Um, <clears throat> so Friday, Saturday, Sunday, get to the water. Um, water is also emotions, and water is. Um, sorry, my hands getting tired. Water is. Um, Letting go of emotions, feelings. So that could also be getting into that water, taking those salt baths, putting your feet in the lake. Drinking more water will help you process those emotions more. It will be easier for you to flow. Water is flow. It will be easier for you to flow. Let those go. Anything you've been holding on to, let it go. And let it go into the water and it can be taken away from you. And it's, it's not yours to deal with anymore. So for this week, we have Monday, Tuesday, prosperity, feeling abundance, um, gratitude for what you have and looking forward to the future. Wednesday, Thursday, I think going along with the first one, realizing where you can start delegating, asking for help. And then Friday, Saturday, Sunday, any of these emotions that you've been dealing with, Things that are coming up for you, not taking care of your own body, get into the water, get near water, drink more water, and let those emotions go. Because And even the drinking the water is going to help keep that flowing. So the overview for the week, we have my goddess, Bridget. And this card says, don't back down. So for me, what this means with what else we have for the week it means make your decisions on how you're going to implement these ideas how you're going to start delegating how you're going to get more water and be diligent don't just say oh it's too hard to drink water find a way to drink water that works for you if that means herbal tea that's great that's better than a coke get yourself some herbal tea you know um, whatever kind of healthy if you need sweetener whatever kind of healthy sweetener that works for your body get that um, and if the other three cards for the week don't resonate with you or don't seem to be connected to what's going on with you then look at this one stand in your power don't back down that doesn't mean that you have to do things aggressively Bridget is not a goddess that is typically aggressive that doesn't mean she doesn't stand up for justice because she does but this means standing to me this is standing in your power and 
In order to do that, you have to take care of yourself. You have to realize where you need to ask for help. And you have to have a prosperity mindset. So this week, the reminder is prosperity mindset. Abundance. Whatever it is you want to bring into your life abundantly. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Um, and that could even be spiritual help. You know, it could, it might not even be another human being. Um, you could be asking the divine for assistance in whatever you need help with. This weekend, get in the water. Drink more water. Be around the water. Take a salt bath if you can. Make sure you douse your head because that clears your whole aura. And then for the entire week, the overview is, you know, don't back down on these techniques and self-care that you need. Because all of these things that are coming through are methods of self-care. And right now, when the world is kind of crazy, um, we don't want to give in to the fear. And one way that we can make sure that things are moving forward is by taking care of ourselves first. You know, on the airplane, how they tell you if something happens, you put the mask on yourself first and then you help your child. Same thing here. You've got to help yourself first. So I think some of the things that are coming through for this week are take some time for yourself, ask for help when you need it, and stand in your power. So I hope you have a wonderful week and I uh, send many blessings your way. Thank you.